This series is presented by Solo Hunter brand rifle covers, your gun's best protection against the elements. Hundred yards. Feels good. So I think we're ready to throw the first piece of lead down this rifle. Hope it doesn't blow up in my face. And about an inch left. About an inch left. So, I want to go left about an inch. Two inch, three inch, four, five, six. Looking pretty good. Be that close. I mean, that's a two inch group right there. So, as it is, I'm pretty happy with it. So, get it dialed in and go shoot something with it. For the last week, I have been bow hunting for white-tailed deer in Northwest Oklahoma, where a couple of buddies and I leased the hunting rights to an operating cattle ranch. When I watched the video back, I thought I saw some blood coming out. I'll be back out here for rifle and hopefully be able to put something bigger down. Now that I've got this buck down, I can definitely be a little bit more picky with, with my rifle buck. This week I'm back and I've got my new rifle all dialed in and I'm in the brush country seeking revenge on a couple of bucks that gave me the slip with my bow. Had him 40 yards right out of here, but he, he saw me move. Unfortunately, I'm not the only one who has struggled to connect with a mature buck. Early on in the season, my buddy Stacy had this big nine point giving him fits for days. On this night, he thought he had him dead to rights, but had a near miss with his crossbow. It's hard for me to feel sorry for old Chester because on the opening night of muzzleloader season, he set up on the river's edge and slammed this giant nine point buck. That is a freaking giant eight point. Holy crap, I can't freaking believe this. Baby. We've pulled it off again. I don't know how we pulled this hunt off, but this here is just a stud of a whitetail. I don't know how he pulls it off either, but he does every year. So this week I've decided to move in on Stacy and get down on our river property and do a little bit of in-season scouting for myself to see if I can cut a big track. It's just hot today. It's not right. It's uh, November 19th. It's like 75 degrees right now. So I'm just out scouting around. A lot of times what we'll do is walk up and down this river and see if we can cut a set of big tracks where they're crossing and then get set up on those tracks. Of course, this is the rut, so that tactic really isn't that effective right now. But I'm just kind of tired of sitting all day, so I wanted to come out and explore this property. I haven't been down here very, very much. Found several good tracks and good crossings, a lot of does. So if there's a lot of doe crossings, then I would expect the bucks to be going perpendicular to, to those. Found a couple good stand sites already back here. So it's just a matter of figuring out the access. But that's what you do when it's 75 degrees in the middle of November, is if I'm gonna walk somewhere, I'm gonna walk the fringes of the property. I'm not gonna go in and start beating brush and going through places. Just kind of stay to the outside so you're not pushing things around and uh, see what I can see. But that's that's what you do have to do when you're scouting during hunting season. Cause I don't live close to here, so I gotta get in my scouting when I can. That's it. These are self-documented hunting adventures with no production crews. 
We hunt in very remote locations and often dangerous situations. We are solo hunters. There's just something about this kind of weather and this kind of experience, just this kind of brutality, that makes you feel like a man. <laughs> My favorite backpacking food is dead animal. <laughs> Make you think twice about stepping out of the tent to take a leak in the middle of the night, that's for sure. Filming myself and trying to shoot stuff just frustrates me. It makes you feel like you're a horrible hunter. It's not the case. You're just a horrible cameraman. <laughs> Solo Hunters is brought to you by Muzzy Broadheads, Carbon Express, Gorilla Gear, Outdoor Edge and Vortex Optics, Prime by G5, and Campbell Cameras relive your adventure. Closed captioning provided by Trophy Taker Fallaway Arrow Rests, leading the way on the line and in the field. Solo Hunters is brought to you by Prime Bows from G5, where accuracy is everything. On the last night I was bow hunting last week, I felt like I was finally closing in on one particular big bucks territory. I had seen a large frame 10 point on the first day I had arrived, but I hadn't laid my eyes on him until this night, just before I had to go home. Even though my camera light was fading fast, I wasn't going to let it stop me from flinging an arrow if I got the chance. As big bucks so often do, this buck skirted the outside edge of the tree row. He never did come under my tree stand that night like he was supposed to. And so now I'm back and I'm ready for revenge. I now find myself perched up on a sound hill dune on the day before the gun season opener, overlooking a thick stand of trees where the deer like to bed. The rut is in full swing now, and from what I'm seeing tonight, tomorrow could be the day. buck chasing over here in this uh, CRP, but he's gonna skirt down around over kind of by my truck, by this windmill. So I'm gonna jump down real fast, throw the camera on a tripod and run over there and see if I can cut him off. But if I can get him cut off, then I can hopefully get a shot at him. Looks like a good, good buck, so get after it.
just got him. I don't know for sure how big he is, but he looked like a 10. Might even have had a little sticker. I couldn't tell. It looks heavy. Um, hauled butt off this dune. Got right here. Was able to set up on this tree. I don't know. I didn't range it. He's not very far. Probably 100 yards. But hit him hard and he went down. And now I'm going to go see what he is. What a cluster. Behind the Lens is brought to you by Campbell Cameras. Relive your adventure. One of the hardest things to do filming solo is actually to take the photographs after you've made the kill. And all these cameras have an internal setting to take their photos in a burst mode. I like to set my camera to take five or even 10 consecutive photos. That way when I hit the shutter button to take those consecutive photos, I can manipulate the animal and make movement so that I have a lot better chance of getting that perfect one shot. If I have my remote handy, I'll just use that. It's a lot easier than going back and forth between the camera and trying to prop that animal up. This segment of Solo Hunters is brought to you by Carbon Express. Shoot better. Solo Hunters is brought to you by PhoneScope, digiscoping accessories for your smartphones. I just got him. I don't know for sure how big he is, but he looked like a 10. Might even have a little sticker. I can tell it looks heavy. Um, halt butt off this dune. Got right here. He's able to set up on this tree. I don't know, I didn't range it. He's not very far, probably 100 yards. But hit him hard and he went down. And now I'm gonna go see what he is. What a cluster. Lucky, sometimes it just works, you know? Sometimes you can make it happen, but get over there and see what he looks like. I know what he looks like, he looks like a deer. I just hope he's big as I think he is. Decent, 140-ish. That's kind of what I'm thinking. We'll see. He's got a broken main beam. Right off that end. Get a better look after I clean him up. But he's what I thought he was. 140s, real heavy. Awesome. Ah, yeah. Get him cleaned up. Take a look. Nice buck, nice and heavy. Got a broken off main beam, I didn't see that, but that's all right. Nice tan, similar to the buck that I shot a couple years ago. He's been rubbing and stuff right through here. Just a nice deer, happy with him. The photo shoot is done. It's a lot of work to take all your own pictures and setting it up, staging it, all that kind of thing, but that's one of the things I love about hunting solo is you know, it's, it's a lot of hard work going back and forth and running the camera and, you know, the maybe and the maybe not of getting it on film. And that's part of what I like anyway, is I like the challenge and I like doing that. But it's over. This rifle hunt is over. It started quick, ended quick. Needless to say, I'm pretty pumped to have such a great buck on the ground. That doesn't mean that I'm going to pack it in and book an early flight home. I love to hunt and just because my tags are now full, I don't have to stay out of the woods. Stacy is still trying to chase down the big nine that eluded him during the early season. So I'm going to post up on the other end of the farm in a good observation stand and try to help old Chester change his luck. Solo Magnified is brought to you by Vortex, the force of optics. As modern hunters, our most effective hunting tactic is glassing. But what you don't want to do is be caught looking through dirty glass. 
You pay good money for quality optics, so you want to make sure that if you're sitting down glassing an area, you always pull something out and clean the lenses off first. By looking through clean glass, you're better able to pick out animals and glass longer. Another trick is to not forget about cleaning your eyes. I carry eye drops with me because I'll sometimes glass all day long. This segment of Solo Hunters is brought to you by Big Green Targets. Go big, go green. For more information on all of our Solo Hunter brand products, social and digital media, or to book a hunt in one of Remy Warren's guided hunting destinations, contact us at solohunterstv.com. Solo Hunters is brought to you by Adventure Medical Kits and Survive Outdoors Longer. Expect the unexpected. Look here, look what's coming across the room. How about that pig right there, baby? This is the same stand I was sitting in the muzzleloader season. We, we've struggled all week just to see deer. I, I, I've had a plan when I got here. I wanted to kill the nine. I came back out here. I've, I've, I've struggled and struggled and battled sitting in this spot. It's dead. There's no deer movement. Today I come out. I don't know how big he is. He's, he's a giant. He's big. Sounds like old Chester put the whack on a pig. He wouldn't shoot a deer. He's already shot a good one here this year. He wouldn't shoot another one unless it's a stroker. What do you know, buddy? This is where I killed my muzzleloader buck right here. Really? Solo Hunters has turned it from zero to hero. You been up to him already? Yeah, I walked out there just because I wanted to where? look at him and make sure he was as good as I thought he was. Where'd he come from? Straight across, I mean, just right there. Sweet Harold Grant. Both of them would come from the same same place. Talk about a freaking redneck setup, right? <laughs> I thought I was bad sitting on the five gallon bucket. All you have to do right here is play the wind. Um, we needed a um, southeast wind, south, anything out of the south. No. Anything easterly? Easterly. I'm, I'm, I'm all tore up right now, but anything out of the east or anything, this spot right here is a killing spot. Do we need my camera out? No, hell no. You Unless you want it. Yeah, you want it? No, I got the kill shot on it. Hey, I got pre-roll of him too. I'll bring it out. Don't fall. Here's Chester's camera set up. I was so excited. I dropped my camera and broke my mic. Yeah. I see it. Look at it. That's a deer. There goes a buck. What is it? There's a buck right behind her. trailing her when he come out. Let's go look at him here. Dude, we gotta, this place right here is fixing to get on fire. Oh, oh my gosh, gosh, look at all that. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, Would dude. Would you have shot this here? No, I had to let him go. <laughs> that is what I love right there. I love the trashiness of the, he's not as strong on this side, but he's probably got, he's 12 inch too. There's been nothing, no activity out here all week and all of a sudden it just busts loose just like that. <clears throat> We've got 70, 75 degree weather. Everybody's been at camp just moaning the blues, but you got to get lucky. <laughs> That's what we did today. We got lucky. Yeah. It was 75 today, and me and Tim sat in the car and we were like, man, this is brutal. Should we even get out and go? And we did it. We got out here and it paid off. Um, absolutely tickled with this deer. He's got everything a whitetail, you know, you could dream of on a whitetail points everywhere, trash. I, he's got 23 inch beams, I guess. But uh, all in all, man, this has been an awesome trip, awesome week. People in camp are frustrated, um, but you know, you gotta keep your head up and keep going. These, these 
they're not easy to kill. That's why they get this big. So uh, solo hunters has invaded Oklahoma and we have put some bone on the ground. Well, you put some bone on the ground. Well, I, you put some bone on the ground, I put some back straps on the <laughs> grill. Yeah, Tim tagged out, um, he tagged out opening morning. Yeah, my gun buck was a decent, good buck. Oh yeah, he was a good dude. I promise you this, next year I will not be burning a tag on an 80 inch six point. <laughs> Sometimes though, you gotta take one out of the herd that, you know, uh, yeah. the deer only had two points on his right side, I mean. Yeah, my taxidermy, yeah, we're gonna have to have a taxidermy. For the last three and a half months, I have been running a thousand miles an hour going from one hunt to the next, deep in the backcountry and off the grid. But this trip to Oklahoma is always the exception, and I gotta honestly say, it just feels good to have a nice house and a warm bed to come back to every night. Although this is far from roughing it, it is the reality of what so many of us enjoy about spending time in deer camp with our good friends. The Solo After Show is brought to you by Outdoor Edge, quality knives and tools for the big game hunter. Can't seem to get enough solo hunters? Now you can get extended behind the scenes access into the show. You'll find additional video clips from our fans as well as a look into some of our exclusive tips and outtakes that we couldn't fit into the show. All this and more at solohunterstv.com.